guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be testing out the new Lunar Beauty Moonspell collection. Now this collection has one eyeshadow palette, two liquid lipsticks, and a lip gloss. And I'm so, so excited to try this out. The like theme of the collection is like witches and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and get started, show you guys the palette, swatches, things like that, and then we're going to test it out on my eyes. Alright, so this is what the palette looks like. Very, very sturdy, like unicarton. Um, you know, and it just has all the information, the brand, name, the palette, things like that. So the palette slides out and it looks like this. And yeah, I'm just I love this packaging. The palette retails for $48 and there are 15 shades in it. And when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It's a very unique color choice for palette. Like when I saw it, I was kind of like, oh, okay. It like just was not what I was expecting, but I still really, really like the colors in it. I think it's a very unique palette. And since there's so many eyeshadow palettes out there, it's really nice to see one that does have like a unique color setup. You know, and it has a really, really big, very substantially heavy mirror. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And think about all the shades in here. They're all named after like TV witches. I'm going to be working from the palette like this. I'm going to go from one row and then go down and then keep going like that. So the first shade is the shade Prue. And it's just this like pink purple glitter. The next shade is the shade Piper, which is just this kind of like berry shimmering color, which will stain you very, very, very fast. <laughs> so the next shade is the shade Phoebe, which is just another like berry purple kind of shade with a blue like reflect to it. The next shade is the shade Page which is just a like matte lighter kind of purple color. The next shade is the shade Sabrina, which is a matte purple shade. All right, so now we're moving on to the second row and this is the shade Winifred. And this shade is just kind of like an orangey matte brown color. So always good to have a color like that in a palette. The next shade in the palette is Sarah which is a light taupey color. The next shade is Mary, which is like almost like this like green olive gold color. The next shade is the shade Samantha, which is just a really pretty rose gold color. The next shade is Kiki, which is just a like deeper warm brown color. Now we're starting on the third row and the first shade is the shade Hermione which is just a very like yellow gold shimmery color. The next shade is the shade Bonnie, which is this like matte lime green color. The next shade is Marnie, which is a like matte army olive green color. The next shade is the shade Nancy, which is a like matte teal color and it kind of swatched a little bit patchy but with swatches you don't really know how a shadow is going to perform until you're like actively putting it on your eyelid and blending it out. The last shade is Fiona. It's almost like a black blue kind of color. Pretty much all of the shades swatched really well except for like the Nancy shade and this Kiki shade but again with deep matte colors they sometimes don't swatch well at all and then perform perfectly perfectly fine i actually have no idea what i want to do yet i could do something a little more neutral and use like the browns and like the rose gold and stuff or i could do something more blue or more green or more purple like i have absolutely no idea what i want to do surprisingly there's a lot of options in like directions you could take with this palette because I feel like initially looking at it, you don't really see it like as many like different like options, but there's actually quite a few options you can take with this palette in creating a look using it. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of pick up shades and just start winging it like I normally do and hoping for the best. So I'm taking the shade Sarah, which I will say this palette has a lot of kick up when you dip your brush into it. 
doesn't it's not make or break for me but I know that you know it's always something worth mentioning taking the shade Sarah I'm gonna start working that in my crease I will say there's fallout with this palette, so I recommend either doing your eyeshadow first or going in with like some translucent powder underneath just to catch it. This is one of the shades I would definitely throw in my crease and then just throw a little bit of a shimmer on the lid and with some eyeliner and then be done. So it's a very, very pretty like taupey kind of shade, but it did get much darker than I thought it was going. Alright, so I'm taking the shade Page and patting it on the outer corner and I'm just being very, very, very careful with the shade just because I don't really want this falling down. And with just a little bit of product left on my brush after I've placed it like in the outer corner, I'm just going to keep blending it in more into the crease and onto the lid. Just very, very lightly. All right, so this is coming out a little bit grungier than I intended for it, but it's all good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on the lower lash line before I even get close to finishing up the top lid. I'm taking the MAC Eye Cult in Costa Riche and lining my lower waterline. So I'm taking Sarah and Paige mixed together and just placing it on the lower lash line. Alright, so now I'm going to build Paige up just a little bit more in the outer corner. And then with a clean blending brush, I'm just going to kind of go over all the edges and just kind of blow everything out. Alright, so now I'm trying to decide which shade to put on the lid. Mm. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with Samantha, which is the rose gold color. That actually is much darker of a shade than I thought it was going to be. All right, so now I'm gonna take the shade. Page and just just the tiniest, 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 tiniest little touch of Sabrina, and I'm going to pat that on the outer V. I'm gonna take the shade Prue and just very, very lightly pat that on the lid, just to kind of brighten it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my liner, my mascara, and my lashes. So now I'm going to go ahead and swatch the lip stuff and there's two liquid lipsticks and a lip gloss. This is what the packaging looks like. Super cool packaging. It's got this little like diamond-esque kind of looking thing in the top. So the first one is the shade Wicked, which is a matte black. This is one of those colors you have to wear to like really know. And then the next shade is Witch Bitch. Ooh, and this one is so such a pretty red. And then the gloss is in the shade Enchantment. Which is just like a clear gloss with like a pink and blue kind of purple reflect to it. Which I am going to just put the gloss on like on top of just any lipstick. Alright, so my thoughts on this palette is as far as like packaging and stuff, this palette gets like a 10 from me and the colors in it are very, very unique. Like I can't wait to play with it a little bit more. Like I said, going in next time, I would definitely do my face makeup second just because there was quite a bit of fallout, but that's not really a deal breaker to me just because most of the time before I even start my makeup, I know what eyeshadow palette I'm using. So I would just kind of plan accordingly. Um, but I mean, they were pigmented, they blended out well, they weren't patchy. So 
yeah so yeah I do like the palette if you're interested in it and you like the colors of it then I would definitely say pick it up and as far as the lips go the lip gloss is really pretty it's it's comfortable it's shiny I do like the lip gloss I'll definitely continue to use it um the liquid lipsticks I have no idea about um I've never tried any of Lunar Beauty's other lip products either so I can't really like compare the formula or anything like that if you're interested in the colors then you know I would say pick them up I do like the collection and I think it worked out really really well and I can't wait to keep playing with it thank you so much for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it if you did then please give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my other future uploads and I will talk to you soon bye